from Vinegar Syndrome comes Stanley from 1972 and uh, well-known renowned director William Graffy. The subject of the Graffy box set and documentary He Came From The Swamp, which is where I first discovered this regional horror movie kind of uh, director who tackled a, a kind of range of subjects. Sometimes they were good, often they weren't as good and one movie that I felt I really missed out on was Stanley from that box set. I'm glad Vinegar Syndrome have released it and I got to check out this movie. Now we follow the character of Tim, a person that's just returned from the Vietnam War. Our tribe now calls you the lover of snakes, the snake man. He's kind of maligned, um, he's kind of pushed aside by society. He isn't really wanted, doesn't fit in uh, with his Indian heritage, doesn't fit in uh, with uh, white people either. He's just kind of nomadic. His father has died while he's been away and he suspects foul play and he just lives alone, living off the swamp uh, and with his friends, with a bunch of his friends who just happen to be extremely deadly venomous snakes, including the titular Stanley, a rattlesnake that he picks up at the start. How you doing today? Hey, sweetheart. Where's Hazel? Where's... And he finds a, bo a bond with Stanley. Um, and I think he has a, a very close relationship because he sees himself as a snake in society. People shudder and stay away from him. They are shocked by his ability to kill. They are afraid of him. They know that he has seen some stuff and they want to give him a wide berth. Most people anyway. So there's that kind of affinity with these reptiles. Things that are misunderstood uh, and feared not to be trusted. And Stanley um, has a lot of trauma going on and it slowly comes to the forefront throughout the movie and there are people who he has grudges against Stan when things finally break for Stanley for Tim and Stanley um, he uses his friends to get revenge on the people that have wronged him in some fun and wacky ways What's that? Who? Who's there? Is it me? Hey. Now, it's a really good movie. I like this one a lot. It's a little bit long and it doesn't really dig into the meat of the story that it has to offer, but my goodness, this thing has me just crawling from the offset because the way that our character Tim just manhandles these snakes, pushing them around, antagonising them, almost is terrifying. If you've any kind of... Uh, things about snakes that you don't like this movie is going to push you over the edge because right from the start he is just wearing one around him tossing him to the side having these quiet reflective conversations with Stanley I think the main performance is great but yeah it has that ickiness about it things that shouldn't really happen um, but I liked the way that his conversations with Stanley allowed us a look into what he was thinking into his psyche how he was seeing the world and slowly becoming demoralised with the way it treats his friends and himself to a certain extent I really liked Stanley a lot do I think it's perfect? No. Do I think it's one of William Graffy's better movies? Absolutely. It's up there with the uh, Whiskey Mountain. Uh, yeah, as, as one of my favourites from the the Graffy collection of movies that I've seen. No! 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 Kill her! No! No! Kill her! No! Stanley was a little bit of an odd ball of a film. Uh, very well shot, very disturbing in a lot of ways. It could have went a bit further and been a little bit more rewarding. Um, never did, quite did that, but still, as a kind of low budget regional horror movie, it was very well done and, like I said, one of Graffy's better movies. I'd love to know what you think of this one, so let me know in the comment box below. Like, hate, whatever, we'll have a discussion about it. Hit the like button while you're down there because that can help the channel immensely. Of course, we've got more videos up here and here if you want to see more of my stuff. 
yeah, good videos. I highly recommend them. And of course, in my description box, there are links to the Patreon and the membership program if you want to really support this channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Mangi Film.